Hey everyone, Reed here. I'm here today to talk to you about a way to easily and quickly access the entire list of functions available in Power Query. This list can be a helpful resource as you develop custom columns and edit the M code, as it provides easy access to a list of available functions that you can utilize. So let's hop into the Power Query editor and get started. All right, now you may notice that I've already created a table here with a few applied steps over on the right. Now I'm not going to go into the detail of everything that I did to transform into the final product that I'll be discussing here in a minute. However, I do want to show you the simple step just to access the list of functions as I mentioned previously. So within the Power Query editor, if you come over and create a new query, and I'm going to go ahead and create a blank query down here, and all you need to type into the formula bar is equals hashtag shared, hit enter. And what that will do is provide you a functions list, as you can see here, that has and contains all of the functions and other types of transformations that can exist in Power Query. If you take a look down at the bottom, there's actually 877 fields there. Now this will always be the running list of whatever is available in your current version of Power BI Desktop or Excel if you're using it in that environment. But it gives you a nice healthy list of all the things, transformations, and functions that you can perform within Power Query itself, especially within the M code. If you click on any of the functions as well, you can see that there's a little bit of details at the bottom, and that kind of leads into what I built as well for this. So I decided to take this example um, and uh, with a few cues from a couple of other articles that were published on Power Pivot Pro and another blog as well on a few of the transformation steps, and I built out a basic report that just contains the data already in it. So let me go ahead and delete this query. And as I mentioned, I'm not going to walk through what every step is in here. The file is available for download, so you're welcome to pull it apart. But my goal is to have you have access to this, which just gives you a nice little breakdown of all the functions available in there. So you have functions by category that you can filter by table, by list, all the categories here. Provides a nice little description of the category name, subcategory, the function name, a short description as well. And if you want to get into further detail, there is a function details tab here at the bottom that even includes some of the sample code. And again, this is all extracted just from within the Power BI desktop file. This isn't any information that I created myself. I just was able to extract it out of there using some formulas that again, I will uh, be linking from the other blogs that I took inspiration from. So that about covers it for this video. I really just wanted to quickly show you that really simple line of code, the equals hashtag shared, that gives you access to all of this, and they just give you a simple file that has a bit of the information extracted in terms of the metadata, just so you can play around with it a little bit. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button or add a comment below. If you'd like to see more of these, please click that subscribe button, and otherwise, I will see you in our next video.